Good evening, everyone. Um, we're just coming out of a closed session, um, so our meeting has already been called to order. So we'll start now with our student representative report. James, can he just use your mic? <laughs> Thank you. All right. So good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Larry Tiang, and I am the secretary from High School South. Unfortunately, Alex Vina could not make it today because she had to attend her sister's college graduation. <laughs> But she would like to give a huge thanks to everyone in the Board of Education for allowing her to be the Board of Ed representative for the past two years. She is extremely grateful for this opportunity and would like to thank each and every one of you. Now moving on to High School South. Spring has sprung at our high school and so has a lot of activity as this month began with National College Decision Day in which our seniors wore their uh, sweatshirts from the, uh, sorry, in which seniors proudly wore their new college gear, representing the new college that they will be attending in the fall. AP Weeks, or two weeks, is coming to a close this Friday, in which many students are grateful for having their hard work and preparation hopefully pay off, including me. <laughs> Spring sports have been doing well, as both the boys and girls lacrosse teams won their senior night games. Also, last night, the cast of both the North and South musicals got the chance to watch each other's shows together. And it was revealed that the High School South will be performing Guys and Dolls next spring. Thank you so much for your time. And both Alex and I hope you all have a great rest of the school year and summer. Thank you very much. That brings us to the first opportunity for public comment. The board invites thoughts and reactions on agenda items and items of concern from members of our community who are present. Each participant is asked to give his or her name and address prior to making a statement, which will be limited to three minutes. All statements shall be directed to the presiding officer, and this public comment period shall be limited to 60 minutes.
Mark, can you take that first, please? Thank you. Are there any comments? Any other comments? There's a rainbow over our meeting. <laughs> um, okay. Madam so President, I guess, uh, just one one note just and I apologize oh. I meant to do this when we yes, came Mark, out just, I apologize sure no, it's okay but we had announced it prior to going into exec session but just in addition to the items uh, listed on the agenda uh, the board also to discuss in for item number four matters concerning negotiations specifically uh, the prescription renewal and as well as uh, WWPEA negotiations so uh, those are the only two items that were added uh, that were not listed. Thank you. Um, the, our committees did not meet since our last board meeting, so there are no reports. So now we'll move forward uh, onto the voting portion of our agenda. I'm going to take something uh, out of order. Uh, we have a personnel um, item that I'd like to call first. Um, I'd like a uh, joining us in the audience uh, tonight is uh, Dr. Michael Walborn. Um, Mike is the proud principal of Wyckoff Elementary School uh, and, is, and has been very uh, lonely as the only administrator <laughs> in the building these past uh, dozen years. So um, the, the board through the budget process has added uh, the position of an assistant principal. Um, that process has uh, gone through multiple rounds, and tonight we're proud to, um, to bring forward Lindy, Lindsay Jablonski uh, as the rep, uh, recommendation. Lindsay is the current gifted and talented teacher at um, Wyckoff Town Center in Millstone River. Um, she did her internship with Dr. Wellborn. Before that, she was a fourth grade teacher at Village Elementary School, and prior to that was a second grade teacher in Manchester Township Schools, and um, as her uh, proud uh, professor, I'm very pleased to bring forward her recommendation this evening. Thank you. So I'd like a motion, please, on the recommendation uh, to hire Lindsay Jablonski as the assistant principal at Wyckoff School. Um, Rachel and Taylor, are there any questions? Okay, we'll start with Mr. Flores. Yes. Ms. Hertz. Yes. Ms. Ho. Yes. Ms. Krug? Yes. Mr. Whitfield? Yes. Mr. Zhang? Yes. Ms. Juliana? Yes. Ms. Keish? Yes. Congratulations. Um, we'll move forward on the administration items. Uh, we have administration items one through five. Can I get a motion on that, please? Uh, Tony and Morton. Are there any questions or comments about the administration items? Um, I had a couple of questions on school district security, but we have between now and the next meeting. We're not voting, so I can handle those offline, right? Absolutely. Okay, you'll yeah, get the it first Tony? reading right now, so right. we can discuss it at the committee meetings. Right now, it's just the first reading. Right. Yeah. Okay. So if you can get that to, to Tony before the committee meeting. Great. Okay, we'll start with with Ms. Hertz. Yes. Uh, Ms. Ho. Yes. Ms. Krug. Yes. Mr. Whitfield. Yes. Mr. Zhang. Yes. Mr. Flares. Yes. Ms. Juliana. Yes. Ms. Keish. Yes. Okay. Uh, can I please get a a motion on the curriculum item number one? Dana and Carol. Are there any questions or comments? Why? 
start with 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 Ms. Ho. Yes. Ms. Krug. Yes. Mr. Whitfield. Yes. Mr. Zhang. Yes. Mr. Flares. Yes. Ms. Hertz. Yes. Ms. Juliana. Yes. Ms. Cash. Yes. Next, we have finance items uh, one through eleven, plus the blue addendum, which is. Um, Recommending as a resolution to move uh, the employee prescription plan to Aetna. Can I get a motion on that, please? Uh, Louisa and Rachel. Are there any questions on that? I have a question on, on number four. It, it says the lowest responsible bid substantially exceeds the cost estimates. Mm -hmm. So what, what's going to happen with this project? This will go uh, out the bid again. I think we're uh, putting out the bid to accept, uh, accept them on June 6th, uh, but we would only do the Grover uh, roof, the roof at Grover, not the roof, the roof on Grover. The uh, uh, north would be left out of it. Oh, I see. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Okay, we'll start with Ms. Krug. Yes. Mr. Whitfield. Yes. Mr. Zhang. Yes. Mr. Flares. Yes. Ms. Hertz. Yes. Ms. Ho. Yes. Ms. Juliana. Yes. Ms. Cash. Yes. Okay. Next, we have a number of personnel addendum. So I'm going to call first separately. Um, I'm sorry. I skipped ahead. <laughs> Oh, didn't we just do that? What? We just did we finance. We just did finance. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. Right. Yeah, I'm not Tony, you're trying to get me all screwed. <laughs> I don't have to pay attention anymore. So I <laughs> lose track. <laughs> okay. So I didn't screw up. <laughs> okay. <You're right. laughs> Personnel. We're going to call. I'd like to call the uh, get a motion on the yellow addendum. Uh, which is um, going to be explained after I call this motion. So um, can I get a motion on that, the yellow addendum? Dana and Louisa. I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Adderholt for an explanation. So good evening, everyone. Um, the yellow addendum, it's personnel addendum number three, is regarding collective negotiations agreement with the WWPEA, the Education Association. Um, just uh, some might know that we are in year three of a three-year contract and we had negotiated a one-year extension in 1920 um, and so this year we we uh, just voted on the Aetna prescription health care renewal uh, excuse me Aetna prescription um, partnership to which we're leaving a horizon and we'll be moving to Aetna um, as, as a component of our negotiated contracts, when we're making a change with uh, prescription or with we need to work with our uh, association members. So we had an opportunity when uh, Mr. Duncan, our labor relations specialist, um, Ms. Fuse, our director of um, HR and myself had an opportunity to meet with our representative uh, members from leadership in the service association, the um, administrators association, and then the education association. When we had the opportunity to meet with the uh, Education Association, a uh, conversation um, started regarding uh, some potential savings within the move to Aetna and an opportunity to potentially make some slight changes with respect to co-pays. Um, that conversation uh, evolved to the potential of looking at uh, an opportunity for an ad a new contract. Um, so we both sort of paused and reached out to our respective um, leadership um, committees to make sure that we had authority to continue a conversation. So in that case, I reached out to Ms. Cash and let her know and reached out to um, our board attorney and had a conversation there. And as a result of that, then communicated to the full board the potential of a, of a new contract. Um, Mr. Salmastrelli, I think it's fair to say, did the same thing with his leadership team. Um, by Thursday, we had authorization to proceed with the conversation. And on Friday of last week, we had the opportunity to sit down um, together uh, at great length. Uh, we spent uh, the better part of the day and most of the night together. Um, and in that, we were able to bring forward a, uh, a, a new contract that encapsulates the 19, uh, 2019 
through 2023. So it's a four-year contract. Um, and and we're, um, I just want to say to, to Bruce and to Patty and to their team uh, that we have great um, appreciation and respect for the work we did together on that day. And, um, you know, it's, it's a special uh, it's a special district with great labor relations, um, and we're very fortunate to have a strong uh, working relationship and always working uh, towards the best interests of kids. Um, this particular settlement, we, um, excuse me, uh, contract, we believe is mutually beneficial to both the board and, and the, the teachers. Um, the board would will be um, asked to take an action tonight to approve or to ratify. Uh, the Education Association has called a vote they had a membership meeting today and has called a vote for Thursday Thursday morning. Um, should the board ratify tonight and the Education Association ratify on Thursday, we'd have an executed contract. Should the board ratify tonight and, and the association not, um, the only thing that happens is one of the concessions within the negotiations would be that Aetna uh, co-pays would stay as they uh, have been. If uh, it's ratified, it would move from 1035.50 to 1030.40. Um, so that's in the resolution that was in the finance addendum. With that being said, I'd like to pass it off to Dana Krug as the chair of the negotiations team uh, to, to read a statement regarding the settlement. Okay, um, I'm pleased to announce that the West Windsor Plainsboro Regional School District Board of Education has reached an agreement for a successor collective negotiation negotiations agreement with the WWP Education Association, WWPEA. The agreement covers four years, the 2019-20 school year through the 22-23 school year. The WWPEA is the association that represents our teachers and all other employees who hold certificated non-supervisory positions. The new contract will be voted on by the board tonight. The WWPEA had a membership meeting today, as Dr. Adahol just um, mentioned, and will hold its ratification vote on Thursday morning. The terms provide for a 2.9% salary increase for the 2019-20, and 2021-22 school years. The increase for 2019-20 was previously agreed to as part of an extension of the current contract. For the 2022-23 school year, the salary increase will be 3.1%. The agreement moderately reduces the teacher's co-pays for certain prescriptions. It also locks in the current employee health insurance contribution rates, which are a critical component of our budget. Additionally, it creates administrative efficiency for payroll and scheduling flexibility in the middle schools. I recommend that the board vote to ratify the agreement. It provides prudent fiscal stability while fairly compensating our teaching staff. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Okay, we'll start with, with Mr. Whitfield. Yes. Mr. Zhang. Yes. Mr. Flares. Yes. Ms. Hertz. Yes. Ms. Ho. Yes. Ms. Krug. Yes. Ms. Juliana. Yes. And Ms. Cage. Yes. Now I need a motion on personnel items one and two, plus our rainbow of addendum: the, pur the purple, pink, the orange, and the green. <laughs> Is there a blue also? <laughs> No, the blue is we did already. <laughs> Purple, pink, orange, and green, plus personnel items one and two. Can I get a motion on that, please? Rachel and Tony. Are there any questions? We'll start with, with Mr. Zhang. Yes. Uh, Mr. Flares. Yes. Ms. Hertz. Yes. Ms. Ho. Yes. Ms. Krug. Yes. Mr. Whitfield. Yes. Ms. Juliana? Yes. Ms. Keish? Yes. I'd like to take a minute to acknowledge some retirements. Uh, first, um, we have uh, Roseanne Citro retiring uh, as the principal of Millstone River School after 21 years in our district. Uh, Jane Fasanella, a French teacher at High School North, is retiring after 36 years in the district. Vanessa Fitzgerald, an elementary school teacher at Town Center, uh, is re retiring after 22 years. 
and Sue Kemmler, a learning disabilities teacher consultant at High School North, is resigning, I'm sorry, retiring after 33 years at the district. I want to wish all of them all the best in their retirement and thank them for their dedication to our students. Um, next, I need a motion to approve the minutes. Taylor and Carol. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any no? Any abstentions? Are there any liaison reports? Any new business? It's time for our second opportunity for public comment. 15 minutes will be provided at the end of our meeting for public comment. Each participant is again asked to give his or name, her name and address prior to making a statement, which shall be limited to three minutes. Tech one two one two. <laughs> <laughs> Joy Horton, Ten Hopkins Court, Plainsboro, New Jersey. Our AAPSG meeting is on Wednesday, May fifteenth, which is on adulting. Are your kids ready for the real world? There was a recent Philly radio station uh, radio program where the DJ asked his intern, "What one thing does she wish she learned in high school?" She started shooting out all kinds of things from how to mail a letter to how to change a flat tire. So it got me thinking, how would our students answer this question here? So we sent out a survey to our parents to share with their children and a few recent high school graduates. The survey was submitted back anonymously and it was actually well received and we got a, a pretty good response. Our meeting tomorrow is not in any way to say that our teachers are not doing their job preparing our students but merely to also bring to parents' attention that there may be some things that they can do and should do to help their wonderful educated children learn some basic home economics or other life skills. Um, I have copies of the survey if anyone is interested in seeing some of the anonymous, anonymous responses. Um, on June 10th, AAPSG will host their 33rd Student Achievement Awards at High School South. I want to um, thank both mayors, our senator and city council members, school board members and school superintendents and all of our great principals for supporting our awards program and coming out and also Lee McDonald for his work with the guidance counselors for their award recommendations. He does a lot of work with that. Uh, David, I know you promised the Playhouse Theater would be in better shape this year and we would have no <laughs> embarrassing moments so I'm counting on you for that. No thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anybody else? All right, we'll close the public comment period. Um, we just have, uh, we were unable to complete all the closed session items that we needed to discuss before the meeting, so we need to go back into closed session now. So I'm going to read us the statement. That says, whereas the Open Public Meetings Act authorizes boards of education to meet in executive session under certain circumstances, whereas the Open Public Meetings Act requires the board to adopt a resolution at a public meeting to go into private session, now therefore be it resolved by the West Windsor Plainsboro Regional School District Board of Education that it is necessary to meet in closed in, in executive session to discuss certain items involving, and I will turn it over to Mark Toscano to tell you what we're going to talk about. Uh, item number one, uh, personnel matters. Uh, the board will also be discussing in box number seven, uh, docket numbers SEC C17-18, SEC number C35-16, and docket number MER DC 4700-18. Thank you. Be it further resolved that any discussion held by the board which need not remain confidential will be made public as soon as feasible. The minutes of the executive session will not be disclosed until the need for con confidentiality no longer exists. Be it further resolved that the board will not return to open session to conduct business at the conclusion of the executive session. There will be no votes. So can I get a motion please to go into 
executive session. Louisa and Tony. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Take a five-minute break, and then we'll head over. Thanks for coming out tonight.